you there, beloved saints. We will be doing part two of the discussion we had with our UK friend across the pond yesterday. Um, we're going to continue to speak with him regarding salvation by grace uh, through faith alone, in Christ alone, and our blessed assurance in Christ. And he was kind enough to bring sections of scripture that he often sees that people use to try to say that you must live up to some standard or be good enough or maintain it somehow through your own righteousness to either get saved or keep yourself saved. And so we've been going over uh, the scriptures contextually to find out what they actually mean. Uh, so we had a great conversation yesterday. We're going to continue that today live with live chat. We have between 80 and 100 live on the chat yesterday. Um, it, it went wonderfully. He was a fantastic guest. And, um, we, I mean, you know, he didn't say much. Uh, but what he did say uh, was fabulous. And it was thoughtful. And he explained how these verses have been used, that he's seen them used to say something other than what they say. Most of them, uh, most of the verses are to already save people, warning them to correct their behaviors, how they should live, how they should walk because of their new identity in Christ, because of the promises of God, because they've been saved, because they're not their own. They've been bought with a price. They belong to God now. So, um, Please join us again. Now, we have it scheduled for 3 today, which is about a half hour from now. There's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but our guest said it'd probably be around that time, but it, it, it'll be close to it. If it's not earlier, it'll be a little bit later. But when we go live, it'll alert you to that. So if you can, uh, just click the link below here in the description box. It'll take you right to that scheduled live stream. And then when it comes on, you'll already be there. All right. I hope to see you there, you guys. Uh, also, please keep our little baby brother, Liam. I think he's also across the pond in the UK. Keep him in prayer. He lost his brother to suicide yesterday. This is just devastating. He needs strength. He needs support. He needs love. So please, if he comes here and you see him in the chat, he's so faithful. Please just reach out to him and tell him that he and his family are in our prayers and see if there's anything we can do to be of, of, of help to him. Okay? God bless, guys.